Hey everyone, my name is Jenny and welcome back to another recipe or if you are new here, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe and join my little YouTube family for yummy, delicious vegan recipes and today's recipe is a good one. I am going to be showing you how to make this super easy and delicious biscuit topped veggie pot pie. Oh my gosh, this is such a good recipe. It's been one of my family's favorite recipes for the past couple months. It's perfect for the fall, winter. If you're looking for something a little bit more comforting and cozy and delicious, this is one to try. And for this recipe, I am using canned store-bought biscuits that are vegan just to make things so much easier. This would be a great recipe for back to school. Kids will love this whether you are vegan, vegetarian, or an omnivore. This is a great recipe to try and it's definitely a crowd pleaser. So let me show you how easy it is to make this vegan pot pie. And as always, the recipe will be linked down below with the step-by-step -step instructions and all the correct measurements. So let's get cooking. To start our veggie pot pie topped with biscuits, we are going to melt some vegan butter in a large deep sided skillet. You want to make sure that you use a large enough pan to hold all of the liquid, the vegetables, and the chickpeas. And we're just going to let that butter completely melt before adding our vegetables. And once our butter has completely melted, we are going to add in one yellow onion that I have diced. And then I'm going to add in about half a cup of celery that I have finely diced. And then just want to stir the onion and celery to even incorporate it with our vegan butter. And then you just want to cook until the celery and onion are completely soft, about 10 minutes. Now we are going to add in some minced garlic cloves, a couple of cloves. I like to use about three. And we are just going to stir and incorporate the garlic with the onions and celery. And then you'll smell that wonderful garlic aroma. And now we are going to make our roux. This is going to help thicken up our pot pie. So I'm going to add in some just regular all-purpose flour right over our vegetables and give that a stir. And you want to cook the flour for about two minutes or so until it's fragrant because you don't want to have raw flour in your pot pie. So you just want to stir and cook that for a few minutes. And as you are stirring the flour with the vegetables, you will see that it will start to kind of thicken up. If you've never made a roux before, it's super easy. It may sound intimidating, but essentially you are just adding some flour and then you're going to add in some liquid and that's just going to really thicken up and create a nice and creamy pot pie. Now we are going to whisk in our plant milk. I really like to use unsweetened soy milk, but also unsweetened almond milk is really nice in this recipe too. I'm sure oat milk would also be really good because it would be nice and thick and creamy. But I just prefer to use an unsweetened plant milk because we really don't want to add any sweetness to our veggie pot pie. So you just want to keep whisking that, breaking up the flour, and evenly incorporating it with our milk. Now we are going to add in our broth. I really like to use vegan chicken broth. I like the better than bouillon um, paste that you get. It is so good. It adds so much flavor and it's especially good when you're trying to make a vegan chicken pot pie type of dish and it just really adds so much flavor. If you've never used any of the better than bouillon before, I definitely recommend it. Now I'm just adding in some dried thyme and then we are going to season this with some pepper and some salt to taste. Once we have seasoned our liquid, we are going to give everything a good stir before adding our vegetables and chickpeas. Our mixture is simmering and now we are going to add in our vegetables. I am just using one large russet potato that I have diced and then I just really like to use frozen vegetables for this recipe just to keep it super easy and I like to use a mixture with peas, corn, carrots, and green beans. I think it's really good and now we are going to add in our chickpeas. I've also made this with white beans. This recipe is completely versatile. You could have whatever bean you like or switch up the vegetables completely up to you and whatever you have on hand. So now we are going to stir our chickpeas and frozen vegetables and potatoes with our liquid and this is definitely why you want to use a large deep enough pan because my pan was pretty full and you just want to make sure you have room for everything. So we're going to give that a stir and then we're going to bring it up to a boil and we're going to reduce the heat and we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. 
And then I like to add just a little bit of fresh parsley. This is optional, but it does add a lot of flavor and freshness to our pot pie, so just give that a good stir. So now we are going to take our pot pie mixture and we are going to transfer it to a 9 by 13 pan. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. This is just such a simple, cozy recipe perfect for the fall and winter. Now we are going to bake this in the oven for about 20-25 minutes. This is going to help it get nice and thick and creamy. And then we will add our biscuits and then put it back in the oven to cook the biscuits. For the biscuit portion of our veggie pot pie, I am using these flaky biscuits from Immaculate Baking Company. These are organic, they are completely vegan, and I really love this brand. Does anyone else hate opening these biscuits? Oh my gosh, I always hated that as a kid too, like with the crescent rolls too, to go to quick squeeze. I made this a couple times with the whole biscuit, but I found that the biscuit didn't cook all the way through at the bottom, so I try to cut it into quarters and this works perfectly so you kind of get like this little dumpling with the pot pie and it evenly cooks. So our pot pie has been baking in the oven for about 20-25 minutes and now we are going to top our casserole with those quartered biscuits and they're going to cook in the oven until they get nice and golden brown and then this will be ready to enjoy. This is such a great recipe for the fall and winter. I've served this to both vegans, vegetarians, omnivores, and everyone seems to really love this dish and I hope that your family gives it a try. And as always, the full recipe will be linked down below in the description box. Now we're just going to put this back in the oven and bake for another 20-25 minutes until nice and golden brown. And then here is our vegan pot pie topped with biscuits.